I decided I was going to get a Venus flytrap, so last week I headed to Walmart and got myself a Venus flytrap named Hydra. My name is Stella, and in today's video, I'm going to be repotting a Venus flytrap, putting it outside, and giving you a couple fun facts about Venus flytraps. Because I got my Venus flytrap from Walmart, I'm going to be depotting it into a better soil combination. So I'm going to be putting sphagnum moss with perlite for my Venus flytrap. And the Venus flytrap was already filled with sphagnum moss. So I'm going to have to take out all the soil and then put it in again, but with perlite this time. So enjoy this time lapse of me repotting and depotting my Venus flytrap. You can see that I removed the plant and the roots are coming out of it. Now there's something part of this plant called a rhizome and a rhizome is the white part which I'm about to show you and the rhizome contains sugar and glucose in the plant. It's that little white thing right there that my finger is pointing to. So that's the rhizome. tray with water because in North Carolina which is where Venus flytraps live they're surrounded usually by like a swamp type area sometimes so like there's water surrounding them so I want to stimulate that as much as I could in a tray of water and this will also benefit the Venus flytrap so that when the water evaporates then my Venus flytrap will be able to stay hydrated so that's why I'm filling the tray with water. I'm going to try to keep my Venus flytrap outdoors all year round because Venus flytraps are actually very hardy and they need to be getting six to eight hours of direct sunlight. So a Venus flytrap should be kept outdoors, which is what I'm doing. But if it gets too cold, then I'll take my Venus flytrap inside. However, Venus flytraps can last into 20 degrees Fahrenheit, so they can last in the 20s, and that, that's like pretty cold. So you shouldn't really worry about your Venus flytrap when you're keeping them outdoors. So I took my Venus flytrap outdoors and put it on a nice table where it will be getting a lot of sunlight every day. Since my Venus flytrap was being kept indoors in the store, it has been pretty light starved, meaning it hasn't been getting enough light. So I'm gonna keep it here for a while so it gets a lot of light, or I might move it to a different spot where there's even more light. And I'm gonna do this so that it grows more and like it lives better because they need the six to eight hours of light, like I said. I also tried feeding the Venus flytrap, but it didn't want to eat 
which I kind of expected because it's going into a bit of a winter dormancy right now and also it's light starved. So I'm going to try feeding it in about a couple weeks or so. So yeah, that's me taking my Venus flytrap outdoors. I ended up taking my Venus flytrap to a different area where it was a lot warmer. My Venus flytrap has been doing a lot better because one of the traps was closed shut in the beginning when I got it from the store, but after a week or so, the trap opened really big. So I think that's really good progress in showing that my plant is thriving. However, my plant still hasn't eaten, but it's going through a bit of a winter dormancy, so I don't really blame it. So that's the end of today's video. If you would like to ask me a question or you would just like to comment on anything in the video, make sure to comment that down below. Venus flytraps overall are pretty easy in my opinion. And if I did anything wrong in this video and if you're an experienced Venus flytrap keeper, please tell me in the comments down below and I'll fix it. Remember, if you have any video ideas, you can comment down below and I'll see you next time.